Today we're going to give you a brief overview on how we turn our CNC plasma cutter into a CNC torching machine. You're obviously going to need a torch bale and some torches capable of cutting the thick steel. I'm running at 35 and 5 with a number 2 tip. And I'm also running at about 13 inches per minute, although I have it written in my code it's a little bit faster than that, but this gave me the best results. I took my regular plasma code and just added some stops in it. This is going to allow me to light my torch, and once I have that running correctly, I'm going to hit the start button, and that's going to bring me over to where I'm going to do my preheat cycle. Once I'm happy with that, I'm going to simultaneously push the start button and turn the oxyacetylene on, and I'm going to start my cut. This is going to be a supervised operation, because there's going to be times that it's going to come up and it's going to stop cutting, because the mill scale for whatever reason. Let me simulate it here for you. Now we're going to watch it peter out here. What we're going to do, once we notice that it's stopped or having issues, we're going to turn it off, and then we're going to bring it right back to where it started again. Now, I wouldn't get too stressed if this happens, because it's really, really simple. You're just going to go through the whole process. We're going to relight it, then we're going to hit the start function on it, and then we're going to have it run all the way over to where we started, and then we're going to hit the pause button. I found that I had to hit the pause just seconds before it got to the spot. Now we're going to start the preheat cycle again, hit start, and it's just going to go back to cutting like it never happened. Okay, well there's going to be a little bit of a divot on the side of the part, but in most cases it doesn't really matter, because you are cutting with a torch, correct? Now, I don't recommend doing this if you have undersized torch bottles. Mine are quite large for this, cutting inch and a quarter steel. Cutting with undersized torch bottles, you're going to have the acetone come out of the acetylene bottle, and the bottle may become unstable. Now, this has opened up a whole new realm of possibilities for your big shop, or even small shop like mine. Hey, and remember the cost of admission is hitting the like button down below. That button is not only going to help me out by pushing my channel forward, but it's also going to help other people out by it's going to get this video out to other people so they can see this and learn from it as well. And later on down the road, it'll also drive me to make more videos that you're going to enjoy. And I'll see you on the next one. Click on the link for one of my other videos. Or check out my whole channel.